The 988 Suicide Prevention Lifeline was rolled out just about a year ago, and calls to that number have skyrocketed. While that is a huge win, it means more funding is now needed for expansion. As Mental Health Awareness Month begins, Courtney Friedman spoke with a San Antonio man who helped take that issue to all the way to the Texas legislature. I lost my dad to suicide in 2010. I kind of fell into my own suicidal ideations and self-medication and things like that. Greg Watson overcame those dark times and turned them into purpose. He now sits on the board of San Antonio's chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Being able to bring that to light to the people that can actually make a huge difference. People like state lawmakers. Watson was one of 35 advocates who met with 60 state legislators in Austin last month to push for a couple bills. One bill was support the 988 suicide lifeline that was established last year, which since has been flooded with calls. The bill would increase the number of centers answering those calls. San Antonio doesn't even have one right now, right? As a major metropolitan area. So if you dial 988 from here in San Antonio, you'll likely actually be connected to someone in Houston or in Austin. They, of course, can offer you the local resources, but this funding could expand the infrastructure right here in San Antonio. The bill is set and requesting a sort of advisory committee to help establish that infrastructure and kind of develop a certain level of standards as far as the overall service itself. The committee would tackle how callers are connected to help. The system will connect me with somebody based on my area code rather than whatever cell phone tower that I'm connected to locally. People are being connected to help centers according to their area code, which sometimes is not where they live. We were meeting with Republicans, Democrats mm -hmm. and the like. Um, and everybody was very receptive. Watson keeps his dad in mind as he plans to keep pushing for change. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. And coming up tomorrow at 6 o'clock, we dive into the other bill. Watson and his team have brought to the attention of lawmakers. It has to do with what's called mental health first aid. If you or someone you know is struggling, call 988 or you can reach out to AFSP or NAMI. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.